Morning guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to the Free Amazis, Luke here. And as you would have guessed by the thumbnail and probably all the news that you would have seen last night, I woke up to it actually. I went to sleep a bit early last night. So I woke up to it this morning. Uh, Paul had put in a WhatsApp group and obviously X had put on Twitter about on Nana. Um, the rumours are that Everton have now matched the same bid that Lil wanted that we've put in that 34, 35 million pound mark. Um, and the rumour was that he's more keen now to join Everton. Is this all huff and puff to you know get the fee that he wants, to get the wages that he wants, to get the agent what he wants? We'll wait and see. Um, X sort of put out that it wasn't Moyes having doubts on the player. He certainly doesn't have doubts on the player. I know that was like a bit of the reaction last night was, oh, why have we sat and wasted, you know, nearly three, four months and bid it two, three, four times and then when the bid finally gets accepted, we've decided to pull the plug on it. Um, it's not, that, that is not the case. The case seems more likely that with the wages and I'm assuming agent fees, Moyes has stalled a bit in term and the board apparently as well have been like, oh, is he, and apparently there is rumour that he might not, he's not considered maybe a definite starter every week. Um, and that's probably where the wages have, are a bit of an issue. Rumoured to only be on about five, six grand a week at Lille. Remember, he's only 20 and he signed in for five million last year and he was sort of in and out of the team last year. Um, like I say, I do think this is a bit of huff and puff um, in terms of the player trying to push it a little bit and maybe adding a little bit of pressure. One thing that... Um, if you look at Everton, they're linked with their ex-player, Idris Gay. Um, who's 35, but he, he looks like he's going to be going back there. Do they need two players like that? Um, you know, two huge units, box-to-box -box midfielders. Really, do they need that? And that, that's another thing that makes me think that this is a bit of, you know, the player playing some games, West Ham playing some games with him. Um, if he goes there, you know, we know, so be it at the end of the day, if, if it's... You know, we see that it's just out of reach with the money. So be it, you know, you, it's a tough one and it? it is a tough one because, you know, to become a top, top club, you have to, you know, start paying the wages for these players. And sometimes at the point that we're at, you have to overpay to get these in so that, you know, you get to a point where you, you know, you haven't got to overpay anymore. That's the point of trying to reach the next level. You have to overpay sometimes to get there. Um... Yeah, incredibly frustrating. Um, you know, I thought this one, it looked more or less done yesterday, you know, uh, everyone. It, we, when the BBC start pushing it as well, um, you know, it's nearly close. Um, the rumour is, like I say, that we will, you know, maybe look at it again, but at the moment it's unlikely. So we'll see what happens. Listen, if he goes to Everton, he goes to Everton. Who cares? Do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's we've not seen him, we've not had him in the team, we've lost nothing. It remains to be seen if he's a good player. I would have liked him. Um, but listen, you have to see what happens. That's all we can see what happens. Um, but it's frustrating when you waste time on targets. It's really frustrating. We've done it with Lingard. It looks like we did it with Kostic. It looks like he's going to go to Juventus now. Um, and now on Nana, who knows what's going to happen? Who knows? Um, on a positive, though, um, it looks like Maxwell Corne is going to happen uh, seems like it might be a loan to buy option um, sounds like players really keen as well to come um, so that's a good one and again I hope that's done before the weekend so that he can you know be at least in the squad on Sunday um, yeah deflated again after being quite you know on a good you know in a good positive mindset yesterday you have to be deflated because you're running out of time and it's like, okay, that's another target potentially gone. And you don't want that to be the case. You you want targets in there. You know, they need to be in and going. I was hoping that Nana would be in, maybe get his first game against the um, Europa League Conference playoff team, which looks like it's going to be the Danish team. They won 3 0 last night. So it's looking like it's going to be them. Yeah, I'm I'm really I'm deflated again that it's such a roller coaster the transfer window. You, you know, you get really excited thinking oh, like at one point it looked like Kostic Lingard and Anana was coming in. And then, you know, Skamaka come in, which was a lift, and then nothing. 
since then, you know, all close, like all oh, Nana's close, Cornet's close. Um, there is a rumor I did read that of Bamiyang, just, just on a side note to this one, if you've made it this far in the video, because I've gone right off on a tangent, just coming my head down. I did read this morning that a Bamiyang is linked with Chelsea, which could free up uh, Broha if we're still interested in him. Um, so keep an eye on that one, because if they sign a striker, then you would expect, you know, they would let Broha go. Um, so that's definitely one to keep an eye on. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, thank you so, so much as always. 140 away now from 4K. Um, just end the video with a happy birthday to Jake um, from West Ham Unofficial. Um, good luck to you, mate. If you do catch this video, I hope you've watched it to the end so you can see the happy birthday. Um, yeah, until next time, guys. Come on, you irons. Keep believing. Hopefully, something positive does happen soon. Um, you know, can't keep going through these roller coasters of it's there, if it's not there. Until next time, my cat's just walked past. Come on, you irons. Keep believing. Let's go.